A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. In today's video we're going to be checking out a Humble Bundle asset pack that is available on Humble Bundle currently for the next 10 days at the time of this recording. Um, it will expire sometime around the 5th of March or something like that. Uh, this bundle consists of values that are valued at 1800 euros or your uh, local currency's equivalent and instead you get to pay 23 so approximately uh, 99-98% discount or something like that. Uh, we will be going through all of these assets, checking out what they contain, what they look like, such things. Uh, we'll be going through how to get them uh, and the different steps along the way as well. So let's just take a closer look at what we have this time. So these are military game assets. They are made by two publishers together. Uh, it's Decagon, which is a publisher that uh, was recently um, hired by Epic to create the Learning Old West uh, experience um, and it is also created by uh, Jarawa. I don't see them actually being named anywhere here but if we click in here Jarawa Interactive they're called. Um, so this pack uh, on Humble Bundle if you're not familiar with how Humble Bundle works you have three different tiers you can um, purchase. Uh, the higher the tier you get, the more assets you get and you get all the items from the, the tiers below. So at the one dollar or one euro tier you get these six assets. At 12 items you get the 18, for 18 um, euros you get, how many was it, 12 items and then you see we have a 27 item uh, cap for the full price. So th these um, tiers tend to be the most um, valuable in either the one dollar or one euro tier or the highest tier because the difference in price between the the second and the third is not a whole lot but it tends to be a lot of assets in difference so we will be going through the the full tier one here and what we have here is from decagon a military training facility a resistance holdout a subway train terminal we also have a quarantine tent here and we have a battle tank of T90 model. We have a character and this is something that uh, appeared also in uh, a previous Humble Bundle pack I covered. Uh, not this specific character but uh, characters of the same uh, feel and of the same uh, uh, style essentially. Uh, they were uh, apocalypse survivor kind of characters. So uh, we went through that and we will be checking this out as well. So these are of high quality and you have face morphs and all kinds of things like that. Uh, so it's very high quality and uh, this, the theme of these military assets would work very well with Apocalypse uh, Humble Bundle if you managed or were interested in picking that up as well. Um, in addition to this we have uh, another tank, a Markava Mark IV. We have some industrial uh, security fences and barriers. We have some military supplies. Uh, some containers, some field supplies, uh, underground, sorry, urban background buildings, uh, some additional tanks, the Leopard 2A7, the T-14 Armata, the Challenger 2, the K-2 Black Panther, the Type 10 Japanese battle tank, and then we get some trailers as well. So we have an M100 trailer here. Onwards to some more security checkpoint assets, some furniture, uh, some machine and devices, uh, some tool sets, construction props, and an M1A2 Abrams tank, another trailer, uh, an M8A1 trailer, uh, some tents, and some clothing and bags. Uh, so those are all the assets, and how you go about this is, uh, if you're interested in this pack, you purchase it here on Humble Bundle. Uh, they will have both a link available to these assets on Humble Bundle so you can download them. You will also be getting a mail uh, and a page set up on the Yarawa um, website where you could also redeem your assets. 
Once you have redeemed your assets or at least uh, given the discount code to get all of your different assets from the Humble Bundle on the Jarawa site, uh, you will have this menu available. And if you want to have your assets that you purchase available in your Epic Marketplace, uh, you can just click on the Epic Access and then you'll get redirected to a page where you can give uh, the mail address connected to your Epic account and some other information and they will make sure to have those assets available for you uh, so you can keep them there and they will also be um, kept up to date as they are getting updated. Once you have all the files downloaded or the ones that are of interest to you, uh, this is what they will look like. They will be zipped formatted and they will be containing, uh, depending on the assets, uh, projects for different types of uh, Unreal Engine versions. So the tanks, for example, you have a, an Unreal Engine 4 version and you also have an Unreal Engine 5 version. Uh, for most part of the different uh, other projects, uh, they will be available in both Unreal Engine 4 and 5 as well. I think there was like a couple of them that were only Unreal Engine 4. And this is essentially what the folder structure looks like when uh, you unpack all of these different ones. So starting off, we have the NPC character Sarah, which is of the similar vein of the Apocalypse pack, essentially. It's one of these survivor characters. Uh, this is a scene set up for her, showing off the fidelity of the, the quality of the character that is created. And we can see from here with some proper lighting, it looks like a very high detailed, nice character. Um, they also have some different uh, example scenes. They have uh, a scene where you can run around as a third person character running around to see what the, the character feels like and looks like. Uh, and they also have an overview one and they have an animation overview one. So the overview one here shows uh, the different clothing options that are available for the character, the different styles that you can achieve and looks uh, based on what is included in the pack. Uh, the animation overview scene shows you the different animations that are available to you. So if we click simulate, you can see here, there are a bunch of uh, crouching, turning, jumping, walking, idling, and such. So all the basics that you need to get your character to come alive, essentially. So uh, that's all of the, the details on the different scenes for this. The character itself, uh, if you go and check it out, over here, our skeletal mesh, uh, our skeletal mesh over here, we can see uh, this is what it looks like in its A pose. And you have the different uh, sockets and different bones that are available to the character. Next up, we have the demo scene for one of the tanks. In this case, it's the T90. And you can see that they're set up in this uh, display kind of uh, purpose so that you can get a feel of what the tank would look like in a real scenario with some good lighting. And you also have some basic things like showing off the different camouflages that are available. So we can change the camo on it. We can also toggle destruction, showing off how it would look like when it could be destroyed. So there's a different mesh, it changes it out with, with some particle effects. Um, so yeah, in addition to this, we also have available to us a level uh, where we... Some errors there apparently that needs to be adjusted and fixed. Let's clear that out like so. Uh, we also have some controller demo scene. Uh, which is essentially a, a test map set up for you that you can just take control over your uh, tank and you have some basic control set up so you can actually uh, traverse the terrain. You have some sights, you have a different other tank here and you also have the ability to fire your cannon if you want to and also fire on the other cannon to destroy it if you wanted to. Um, so. This is all pretty cool that you have all of this set up so you could see sort of what uh, you could expect. So it's pretty nice that they've created these blueprints and you also see the controls up in the HUD to the left there that are available. So let's continue with the other tanks. We will be going through them a little bit more rapidly than the last one. In this case, we have the Type 10 Japanese battle tank and this one and all the other ones are set up in similar ways. They have a 
uh, lighting demo scene like this available for you where you can change around the different camoufla camouflages and you can also destroy them and you also have the demo map where you can actually run around with uh, the vehicle and test it out in an environment so that is applicable to all of them so moving on this is the t14 tank and these are the different camouflages available to it and when it's destroyed this is the t14 and it's different camo colorings this is the m1a2 tank and it's different camo this is the leopard tank and it's camo this is the k2 tank and its colorations This is the Challenger tank and its colorations. Moving on, we get to the different uh, area assets and the different uh, smaller packs as well. This is an environment demonstration area for the resistance holdout. So a sort of uh, base-like area we can see some sandbags and an area here where we could have NPCs and such where they try to recuperate and try to defend themselves against possible aggressors. Um, so that's what this asset uh, looks like. And if we get a bird's eye view, you can see that it's just set up a sort of a block area for some buildings to have a, say, as a backdrop for the base itself. Um, moving on to the actual um, overview of the map where you can see the different assets you can see that there is not a whole lot here actually there is a bunch of different uh, modular parts here for the different buildings and the facades of them uh, staircases and such things you have some trees and some foliage you also have some different structures for uh, barricades and containers and different props around around um, so this is the set dressing for the the scene that we actually saw so those are all the assets of the, the resistance holdout pack. Next up, we have the firing range area or environment. And here you can see we have this sort of corridor set up where we have a firing range here where we can actually have some shooting done on some different dummies and targets. And over here we have gun racks and other kinds of props related to a firing range activity. So everything that could sell that in along with some uh, underground looking pipage uh, and such. So that's the firing range. Next up we reach the smaller packs which consists essentially of a small set of uh, specialized category of uh, products or items. Uh, in this case we have a set of different tents. This pack consists of an assortment of backpacks, vests, headgear and boots and also some mannequins to display what they would sort of look like to uh, equip on a character. This pack is centered mostly around barriers so you have your sandbags and your barbed fences and yeah, your guard posts and such things. Also some barrels and such you can see in the background as well. This pack contains uh, mainly furniture, so you can see that there are some beds, stools, chairs, uh, bunk beds, uh, some containers and cupboards and similar assorted furniture. This pack contains uh, infrared cameras, rangefinders, guided missiles, different uh, uh, generators, drones, and also some grenade throwers. So that's what this pack contains. The next pack contains various types of containers for weapons, for carrying things, for MREs, for fuel, all kinds of different containers that you might need. And the last pack that we're going to be checking out is going to be this assortment of different types of crates. Hopefully displaying all of these different aspects of this humble bundle uh, you have been given enough information to know if this is something that is of interest to you or not. 
uh, and that this has been valuable to you. Uh, anyway, that's going to be all for me today. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.